Fancy lighting is a staple of most PC gaming setups, and the Yeelight LED Screen Light Bar Pro promises to enhance your desktop lighting whether you're a PC gamer or not. This Smart Assistant enabled lighting bar features an adjustable front lamp and 16 million colour ambilight that promises to enhance your gaming and video watching experience by integrating with your PC to produce reactive lights. The question is, does this product actually enhance your experience? Or is it simply a bragging right for people who cannot get enough pretty lights on their desk? I'm William Worrell with MakeUseOf.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the E-Light LED Screen Light Bar Pro. One of the first things you're likely to notice about the E-Light LED Screen Light Bar Pro is that it's very slick looking. It doesn't feature any bumps or ridges along the bar itself and is attached to the stand by the use of magnetic contacts, so there's no need for clips or other bulky attachments. When it is attached to your screen, it has a relatively low profile, as long as you don't count the bright light that shoots out of it, of course. It's also worth noting that the device features connectivity with various apps and assistants, as well as a physical controller to allow you to change settings manually, and the whole set will run you around $130. US The mount is also surprisingly firm and secure, while both being easy to install and having almost zero chance of doing any damage to your monitor. It's covered in this soft silicone, and it really just feels like it shouldn't stay attached, but somehow it does. The unit is powered by a single USB-C to USB-A cable that can either be powered with the included adapter, or can be plugged directly into your PC to reduce the number of outlets that your setup requires. However, connecting directly to your PC is not required to use the advanced features, as both the application controls and the physical remote use Wi-Fi connectivity to transmit instructions to the lights. Obviously, this does come with the drawback that if you lose internet access, you won't be able to control the device, but in the modern age, that's not too much of a problem. On the off chance that it does happen, you can simply remove the bar from the stand, and it'll shut down, so at least you won't be stuck with a permanently on light in the eventuality that your router goes down. Since it does require a Wi-Fi connection, Setup requires you to install the Elite app on your smartphone of choice, and sync the device to your Wi-Fi through the app. Setup is overall mostly uncomplicated as long as you're sticking to the built-in app controls at least. As it says at great lengths on the box and the website, the E-Lite Pro does support Razer Chroma Connect and the Overwolf platform to present reactive lighting effects, either reacting to the sounds of your system or reacting to the game that you're playing. It's during the setup and use of these third-party connected apps that things get a bit more fiddly and complicated. When you're trying to get the light to connect to a third-party application, you have to enable LAN control in the app. Then, download the third-party app of your choice. At that point, how easy it's going to be to get the applications working with each other is down to the hands of fate. For instance, while I did eventually get it to react to Razer Chroma, the light refused to be controlled via Chroma Studio, only responding to Razer Visualizer once I had run the app and the E-Light connector. I did eventually get it to work in Studio, but then it had trouble being controlled by the remote and app. It would work sometimes, but not all the time, and that got to be a little annoying during my time with the device. Oddly, it seems like you need to mute sounds in audio meter mode before it'll respond, but I have no idea why. The Overwolf app presents its own special set of problems. Firstly, if you're using an insider build of Windows, for instance, if you're someone who writes about tech for a living, then you won't be able to install the app at all. You just get an error message saying that Windows Insider isn't supported, so you'll need to uninstall it to get this thing working. Obviously, I wasn't about to do that and then have to reinstall Windows Insider later, so instead I went ahead and installed it on regular Windows 10. It was pretty simple to get the Yeelight Overwolf app downloaded, installed, and recognising that I had a lighting system attached. A good sign for what lay ahead, you might think. Apparently not. The selection of games that work with the Overwolf app is pretty underwhelming in all honesty. You have a couple of free-to-play titles like Fortnite and Magic Arena, a few big MOBAs like Dota and League of Legends, and obviously some shooters like CSGO and Rainbow Six Siege, but that's about it. While the diversity is there, to a certain extent, there's nowhere near a decent enough number of games to make the hassle of using this app worth it. Altogether, there are 18 games in total that you can use this thing with. Then again, I say use this thing with, but actually, that's not true. Despite my best efforts, nothing I did here would get the games to actually work. The light was definitely attached to the app, because when I previewed the lighting effects, they actually showed up. Again, the app was definitely connected to the game, 
because I could press Ctrl G to bring up the overlay. However, despite claiming that it would sync after a successful match, nothing ever changed. I played numerous matches of a game that I don't even like that much, and yet it never worked. Even after rebooting and reconnecting the light several times. At this point, I just have to assume that this part of the product doesn't work at all. Then there's the connectivity with smart assistants. This works marginally better than the two PC-based apps. Google Home connected very simply and could respond really easily on command, things like changing the colour temperature and brightness level. The connection was a bit more of a pain with the Alexa app, but once it was set up it did work in much the same way, with the ability to change colour temperature and brightness. I should say that in both cases these apps only give you control over one side of the light or the other, never both. Aside from connectivity with third party apps, the Yeelight app does offer some ancillary features. As well as controlling the colour temperature and overall brightness of both segments of the light independently, you also have several themed modules similar to other apps used to control smart lighting. There are only six different options to choose from, which is a little limited, but these do work and mostly make sense. For example, Cozy Home gives you a warm orange glow in the back and a bright light in the front, while Movie Mode gives you blue backlighting and no on-screen light at all. I would say that some of these settings aren't particularly distinct or useful. Reading and Office are basically the same thing, with an almost imperceptible difference in the intensity of the backlight. Something similar is true with both the tea time and movie modes, which use a different backlight colour and that's really it. On the plus side, you can save your favourite configurations, but that too is slightly wonky. It only saves the state of one part of the light at a time. So if you set the backlight to a bright red, then the front to a warm white, you have to hit favour on both headings. You'll also have to select both independently, so it's not possible to save a theme set of your own, which is kind of a shame. Other than that, the app contains a few other minor tidbits, such as the timer function. This lets you pick a certain amount of time, and then the light will go off on its own. Another function in the similar vein is the schedule menu, that lets you pick various settings to allow the light to turn on and off at predetermined times, repeating each weekday, every day, or never again. A very minor point that should be made clear is that if you choose to power the Yeelight LED screen light bar pro through your PC, it may stay on when you shut the PC down, depending on what motherboard you use. It's not a big problem because it's so easy to remove the light from the stand, but it might interfere with how well the schedule and timer modes work. Overall, the Yeelight LED monitor light bar pro is a well designed light that sits incredibly securely on your monitor, but that's about all it does do. While it's easy to set up if all you want is an extra lamp, the extra steps to get the third party apps running and the clunky nature of the Yeelight app itself make it more of a chore than it's worth. For a product costing over $100 that has the word pro in the title, it doesn't feel like a particularly professional experience. Especially not when it gets to the overall platform application. As most of the problems with it are software based, there's always the chance that it could be fixed in the future but whether or not you're willing to stake $130 on that potential or not has to be up to you. Thanks for watching our review of the Yeelight LED Screen Light Bar Pro, and thanks to Yeelight for sending us this product to cover. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, because it really helps our channel to grow. If you really enjoyed it, you can click the bell icon to have our latest video sent directly to your inbox. Please feel free to check out the link in the description of this video to go to our website, where you'll not only find the written version of this review, but also a lot of tech news, information and guides.